Hey guys, um, I encourage you to watch uh, the intro to you substitution um, that I've made that video. Uh, the introduction is really good and I think it's the most helpful video. But yeah, here we're going through our second basic example. And as I mentioned in the introduction video, one way to identify you is uh, through this second rule of thumb, which is to look for a composition of functions inside of our integral. So in the integrand, that's what the inside of the integral is called. So anyway, yeah, you look for a composition of functions of the form f of g of x, and then you make u g of x. Now, it's fairly easy to see that the composition of functions appears right there. And the composition is of the form f of g of x, where f of x is equal to cosine x, and then um, g of x is equal to um, x to the fourth uh, plus two. And we are told using this rule of thumb that we should make g of x u, fine. So u is equal to uh, x to the fourth plus two. Uh, now, based on that, we know that we have to find du. So du is going to be, um, du is going to be four x to the third dx. Now, our first rule of thumb said, once we calculate du or once we figure out du, we should see if we can find it inside of our integral, except for possibly missing a constant. And we look in here, and yes, we find du missing a constant. x to the third times dx is du. It's just missing the four, and like we said, we're not worried about constants. Why not? Because then we could write in our next step a fourth du is equal to x cubed dx. And so then we could rewrite our integral as cosine of u times combining this and this, which equal that, we could write a fourth du, a fourth du, and proceed to solve, and we'd succeed in solving, right? All right, now, as I promised in the last basic example, the first one, um, I am going to show you a slightly different way that uh, a lot of people go about solving for dx, and it's a bit methodical, but it gets to the same conclusion as here, right? And that methodical way is here in this step, once you write down what du is, to isolate dx by dividing by whatever is multiplying it. So here we divide by 4x cubed, um, 4x cubed, and once we do that, we see that dx is equal to du divided by uh, 4x cubed, and so then we'd come to our integral and replace it without touching that x cubed and then saying the rest of what we have is cosine of u and then replacing that dx with this which will say uh, du uh, divided by uh, 4x cubed and then recognizing that we could do this which is cancel the x cubed and the x cubed there to write that what we have is uh, one fourth, factoring out that four from the denominator in front of the integral, one fourth cosine u uh, du, which is the same thing that we had gotten there, uh, but much more efficiently. So, uh, you know, if you're a student who likes, you know, step by step ways of solving a problem, then this is your way. And if you're a student who could see like very quickly, you know, how to adjust for constants, good for you and that's the path for you clearly, right? Okay, anyway, once we get to the place where we write a quarter uh, cosine uh, u du, a quarter times the integral of cosine u du, then um, I think we're pretty much at the finish line. So I'll pick up from here so we can write, which is the same thing as what I just erased, but yeah, I'll just pick up from here and write that what we have is a quarter times the integral of, that integral sign was poor, uh, the integral of cosine of u um, du, and this is going to be a quarter. Uh, the antiderivative of cosine is sine, right? So sine u uh, plus c. But wait, what did we say u was? u was this, not bad grammar. I've used that corny joke so many times. u was, all right, uh, you get it, you get it. Sine of x to the fourth plus two plus c, yeah? Cool, final answer. Uh, all right, there are two more basic examples, so watch those, take care.